See, Jesus isn't trying to be sneaky. He's not trying to be deceptive. He's trying to get people to ask the question, what's going on in here? People's hearts have become calloused. They hardly hear with their ears, and they have closed their eyes. Otherwise, they might see with their eyes and ear with their ears, ears and understand with their hearts and turn, and I would heal them. See, Jesus answers the question of the disciples speaking to the condition of our heart. And for the New Testament, all of life is lived from your heart. The heart is the control center of your entire being. We actually speak not from our mouths. We speak from our hearts. That's what he says in Matthew 15. Out of the overflow of the heart, the mouth speaks. He goes on to say the things that you desire, the things that you want, that motivate and drive your life, they reside in your heart. He says in Matthew 6 that wherever your treasure is, the thing you want most, is where your heart is also. He even goes on to say that we think out of our heart. We don't think from our brain. We actually think from our heart. In ancient world, it was thought that thinking resided in the brain, feelings resided in your gut, but they come together in the heart. Right? You think actually through your heart. Because he says in Matthew 15, out of the heart comes evil thoughts or other kind of thoughts. So the ability to hear and see the realities of the kingdom starts in the heart. 